right after the unveiling of AMD's 7000 series chips, benchmark entry of the Ryzen 9 7950X has appeared on Geekbench. As we already have a Geekbench entry for the i9-3900K, we now have a clearer picture of how these two compare. To find out more, keep on watching. Now, let's talk about our today's sponsor, Tent Studio, a digital marketing agency that offers branding solutions and necessary marketing materials. Tent Studio's expertise lies in 2D animation, live action explainer videos, motion graphics, product demonstration videos, corporate documentaries, promotional videos, and more. They also offer web development services, ad role placements, blog posts, YouTube channel management, and SEO to ensure your content ranks as high as your dreams. So, if you're having trouble explaining your brand, product, or campaign to others, go and visit Tent Studio right now to make your brand stand out from the rest. According to the Geekbench entry, Ryzen 9 7950X was tested using a ROG Crosshair X670E Extreme motherboard along with 32GB of DDR5 memory at 6000 frequency. This 16-core 32-thread chip was able to hit a maximum of 5759MHz frequency which is quite higher than AMD's advertised 5.7GHz of frequency that we saw earlier in the event. In single-core, we're looking at 2217 points while in multi-core, the CPU was able to hit 24,396 points. While these scores do look impressive, how good is it compared to the leaked score of i9-3900K that we saw earlier? Video cards has put together this detailed chart where we can see the 3900K outperforming the Ryzen counterpart with a single core score of 2314 and 26,464 score on multi-core performance. Seems like the additional efficiency course on the i9-3900K will pay off for better multi-thread performance. So, did that just happen? Has Intel finally won? Well, by a slight margin, that seems to be the case, specifically in multi-thread performance. That being said, Geekbench isn't the only benchmarking tool that we should draw conclusions from. As there are plenty of factors such as stress tests and thermal throttling to consider, we should rather wait for the independent benchmarks. So, what's it gonna be? Will you be going for the Ryzen 7000 series or the Intel 13th gen? We would rather leave the decision up to you. We will be back again with more updates on these chips and solid performance comparisons as soon as they make it to the shelves. So, that was all about the Ryzen 9 7950X versus Core i9-13900K comparison. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.